Uh, it was basically like the first Indie to Fortnite process we did. We were able to like just shut the company down for a couple weeks during Brew Legend and break the team into like, how many did we do the first time? Four? four. Yeah, we did like four projects. And um, I got, I was chosen to be one of the like people to do it, which was awesome. So I was terrified and had no ideas at first, but we had like a month or something to come up with it. So um, yeah, the idea was to use a lot of the Brutal Legend tech that we had been working on to make this power defense game where you're just on the field and you can run around and you're, you're more of a participant in the tower defense game rather than uh, just a passive observer. Uh, the original demo that we made didn't have like loot or any of that in, in it, but it was sort of after when there were talks of like, you know, somewhere late 2007 and like, what, you know, we have this demo and we're like, what are we going to do with it? It was just like four player co-op tower defense where you're, you know, very similar to the game is now. I mean, like, yeah, you would, the most part. you would put down, I, I think that we had only like one or two kinds of powers that you could put down. But, um, there, there were mostly, it was mostly we were like, pretty heavy in the Havoc at the time. It, there were mostly things that you sort of knocked around the world. There were a lot of like, it had scrap. It had, it had scrap, it had, uh, like, a giant arbitrary deployment. Yeah, yep. You know, a giant bowl that you could drop and roll down a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were a lot of like landmines and like uh, exploding barrels and sort of more like temporary things that you could put on yeah. the field and then interact with. But, uh, <laughs> We had one machine gun turret that would fall over when the enemies touched it. That was <laughs> hilarious. Because yeah. it was that still was trying amazing. to shoot at him. <laughs> or you could like kick it over with your Mac accidentally, <laughs> yeah. and sometimes it would go like bouncing around. Like we created these demos in two weeks, so it was really rough. It was really rough around the edges. But you could tell that there was something there that was fun. Like it was it was pretty obvious that we, we made something that like that had some like compelling shit. It was cool. We got a marine tattoos. I guess I'm most excited to check out the leaderboards a couple a couple like days or weeks into the game. Like uh, one of the features we stuffed in there was that when you whenever you beat a mission it writes that that sort of mission victory uh, into the leaderboard and it also puts your entire um, your entire mech load out in there. So when you browse the leaderboards, you can just click on anybody's name on there and it'll show you like in a mech bay, it'll like show you every, you know all the all the parts, like their whole mech loadout. So you can see what weapons they're using and like what paint job they have and like what what hats and jackets people like and like all this stuff. Because it'll show you the full mech and, and the marine standing next to it. So I think it's just it's just it'll be cool and fun to sort of like see what people what weapons people are using and what, what people are liking and stuff. I'm looking forward to the game fact slash speedrun community <laughs> yeah. playing trenched <laughs> and listing out exactly the ultimate way to defeat yeah. every mission with one, two, three, some four of the players. missions, the last, the last couple missions are really hard to like get the gold medal on. Like you need to have really good gear and, and have your your mech configured in a very specific way. And just, so just seeing people try to like like tackle these challenges. And, like, that multiplayer, like I really want to see people like going into missions with builds that would not normally be viable single player, but are really awesome. Yeah, just taking the more support role, yeah. bringing some like you know some things that yeah would be hard to beat a mission single player, but really help out multiplayer. Yeah. yeah, that would be that would be awesome. I think also just like I hope that a community develops around the game, uh, that people are playing with sort of like helping to educate other players about the game as like, you know use really using the matchmaking to like find new players and like talking with them because I mean there's no PvP in the game, so it's like just having people help each other out. There's no, I don't think hatred can come out of this game. There's so many of the PvP games where people just, people just straight up hate each other playing those games. And I just, it's nice that, that Trench will hopefully not contribute to the vast amounts of hate that <laughs> take place through the internet. Oh yeah, we want to, we want people to send, uh, send questions and feedback on Twitter, at Trench Games, and that'll get to us and we'll, you know, we'll give you a shout out on this.